For those just tuning in, this is Blaze Blue CPEX Grand Finals. We have Lord Knight. How you doing, man? How's it going, man? Uh, I'm just seeing some Valkenhayn rush down right now, you know, just basic stuff. Double overhead. <laughs> Double overhead. Can't handle that out with a passion. So we have two characters, in my opinion, that I don't like that can put down the pressure. Hey, here's my thing. At least Carl requires a little bit of setup. Valkenhayn can just go hand. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> just go hand. You Yo, <laughs> respect for playing Celica, though. Yeah, man. I mean, what it is, is it's, it's the first time I'm actually on... <laughs> top eight of tournaments and the fact that I'm hearing all of this you know and getting on stage I'm like this is a real intimidating thing for me you know I respect I mean, that it's first time for everything and I, I know a lot of drop commas I'm a little upset about myself but I'm at least glad that I made it the top top eight you know? yeah but probably I mean, next time I mean get better places have to know how to handle pressure a little better yeah I mean the more you come to these things the more that's gonna happen yeah I mean I, I made top eight uh, last year not last year you know at Winter Brawl mm -hmm. but that was when it was uh without extend and I was playing Azrael. So Azrael in my opinion is a good character. It takes some work. Hey, no. <laughs> no. It takes some work. I think so. For the I mere fact that it what I think is like normals have short distances that seem to hit people. Huh? I think that's that's just me. I, I feel that Azrael takes a little work. I mean when I play Azrael half the time I auto play auto pad it because it's like Everything I do ends up hitting people. All right. So it's like, I, I don't know if they know how to block or if they just don't know the matchup that well. But I mean, he's so top tier, who, who shouldn't know that matchup? Uh, I probably was looking at the wrong tail list. So some people did say that, oh, Nigel is in that great. I'm like, what are you talking about? He, he's good. <laughs> nice grab in the corner, though. Convert this right. for a full combo. All right, so yeah. Oh, Call my God. Cross trigger. Increase the damage. He didn't even have to finish him. He never finished it for him. So we have LK playing who again? Yeah, uh, which side is LK on? LK is Valkenhayn. Valkenhayn, all right. I like LK's character pool, honestly. Like, he has a lot of characters that he, that he can play at a really competitive level, and I respect that. Very intimidating, too, when you pick them, too. Because, like, the, the thing is, like, first off, with LK, I feel like, from what I've seen, I feel like you don't know what he's going to pick at the character select screen. So you could lose right there. Right. It's a mind game in itself. Yeah. And he's, like I said, he's really comfortable with, with all the characters he plays. But, damn, did he get put in the corner. <laughs> put the dog down. <laughs> put the dog down. Oh, he's going straight into it. I guess, yeah, I mean, wait, Valkenhayn handles Carl pretty much I, easier than Lychee and... I don't know. I don't know this matchup. Again, I, I, I barely see Carl's, mm -hmm. so I don't know how that matchup goes. I don't even know how that matchup goes for me. Right. But I know he has low life, so if I touch him like once, he's dead. Oh, yeah, for sure. So it's all about getting that touch, but this pressure is OD, especially when you're in between Carl and Minerva. He just gets set up for free. Like, look at that. Oh, yeah. He gets free block shooting into, into double overhead. And he definitely had a burst over there, else he was going to like see a like, chunk of like, his health go away. Not only is he going to see the chunk, he's going to see that corner again. Get it put back in the doghouse. But look at this. Again, good spacing, just good knowledge to put him right back into that situation between him and Minerva. Oh, my God, the double overhead again. That shit is so cheap. Because, like, I'm going to stand. Oh, at, yep. see, he has so <laughs> many options. And he just, Where does Valkenine fall in the tail list? Um, I can look that up real quick. Come into the match while I look this up. Carl putting into business in the corner. Mm. Think he was upset about that last round. <laughs> I would be. <laughs> I mean, this is Dora's and Dora's tears. So it's like personal feel or something. But I'm going to show you this. Robotic zombie in effect. I mean, Dora puts Dora, Dora puts Valkenhayn in S, and Goro puts Valkenhayn in A. 
So he's really, like, I can see where he's coming from. Like, he has low damage, but the setups he gets anywhere on the screen or in the corner, they're right. just, they're, they're overwhelming. Oh, yeah. Wow, calling protectile from all the way off screen. That was... I reacted to Minerva. I was playing, I'm playing against this Carl player um, earlier when I was playing Bullet, and I was always getting caught with that. I said, "Wow, I'd never see that coming," because Minerva is completely off screen. And then, okay, here we go. We get to open up Carl, and then you see something coming out. So, oh wait, your eyes shift for a second, then you get hit. Minerva comes back, full combo. Oh my god! And then you die. Exactly. Good block on the draw. On the overhead draw kick. Good pressure coming out from Lord Knight. Yeah. Stuffs out the button. Stuffs out the end here with his uh, oh, down D. That was 2D, right? Um, J2D? Falcon 9? Yeah. J JC. JC? All right. Oh, JC. Again, like I said, I don't know either of these characters very well. <laughs> I played Falcon 9 a little bit. I think um, after, what was it? Continuing Chef, I think he got a little harder for me to play. And um, I was looking at videos of how other people play him. I said, wow, he's way too technical. My brain can't handle it. Um, good job seeing an okay hand home that my brain can't handle. Yeah, I feel you. Here's what, I, like, here's what I love about Carl, though. Like, Minerva's a moving corner. Oh, yeah. Like, she just, she's a wall. Like, yeah, he's, he's got her in the, he's got him in the corner right now. But right. Minerva just activates and see, oh, it's yeah. done. I think, I always felt that Carl Clover, I tried playing him once. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm strictly a plaid player, but I felt that Carl is strictly an arcade stick character with all the setups and stuff that I've been doing. Nah. It, the thing is, like, he's only a pad player if you play zero in Marvel. If okay. you're used to holding that one button, if like you play zero oh, yeah, in Marvel, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're, and you're used to holding down that one button forever, right? Then I get that you, you can have the you have the capacity to play Carl, but otherwise, just don't let it go. Just let it go. Goes back to Lychee. Goes back to Lychee. Going back to his roots. Let's see how he handles it this time, because uh, that Valkenhayn, it wasn't getting blown up, but that, that pressure was too much. I think Lychee could have more outs in the situation. You know, better buttons, you know, not, not as a weak of a... I wouldn't say Valkenhayn's drive is weak, right. but the fact that he can just get stuffed out and, you know, you just you can just jab him and it's a, it's a free counter here on top of it. Well, yeah, and too, and um, Lychee's stick controls a lot of space, too, which is why I think also is a good choice. Yeah. But, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know this matchup myself. No, do I, but I, I see what you're saying there, and I do agree with that because it controls a lot of space, it controls a lot of buttons, and it yeah. keeps you it keeps you frame trapped from everywhere. Yeah. Wakes up, wake up super from Lord Knight. Hits. Oh, gets oh, no. hit on his DP. Yep, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Low damage, but back in the setup. Gets out, Get goes back to his stick. Oh. Minerva comes flying in from <laughs> off screen. The moving corner is back. Well, and here she is again. Good rapid takes in the combo. Good pressure setup. Stick's coming. He already knows where it is. Okay. But she, he, had, he put her in blocks on the, to keep the stick from hitting. Okay. He recognized that the, the stick was going to take too long to get to him. Right. So he just said, I'm going to go hand before you know it goes in. So good pretty good much, air So pretty much um, if um, Lychee is blocking and she calls for the stick, the stick doesn't come at all? It, it doesn't hit and it comes back, I think, like not halfway, but it like... It stops his momentum and goes to wherever it was. Okay, okay. So that was smart stuff. Yeah. Because if you saw, like, she called the stick, it came back, but it came back in front of her still stand. And it wasn't gotcha. active anymore. Gotcha, gotcha. Set up the stick for the pressure. Got him in the corner. Nice overhead. overhead. Oh, no away. conversion on the combo, though. Oh, nice cross-up. Good counter here. So Big Sis is in play now. I definitely don't like seeing Big Sis in action. This guy's Carl does scare me. A lot of people scare me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Overhead. Oh my god, that unblockable. Was that was unblockable. Unblockable, you can't do it? Because oh. the thing is, he went low while Minerva went for the overhead. Right. So you had maybe like two frames to, to adjust your block. So the no safe, human's going to do that. So the safest thing out of that was pretty much a burst? Either burst or... um. Counter Since she had, yeah, counter assault, because she didn't have her burst at the time. She's about to get it back at the end of this round, which is good, so she has the option out. And the carousel is close enough that it justifies the burst. Good pressure from Lychee. There you go. Ooh, good hit there with the go. stand C. Going to round three last. This is match point on both sides. Just goes in for the Minerva, Minerva overhead. Good hit. No. Two. Oh, 2-0? Two Oh, it's Matt You're right. I'm sorry. Thank you, Ward. I'm bad. <laughs> Good pressure on the stick. Keep him boxed on. Put him straight in the corner. Oh, nice overhead. Oh. 
It's not looking good for Grover right now, man. Oh. That, that stick is cheap. I mean, it, like like you said earlier, it does control a lot of space, and it allows Lychee to get all those options for pressure. Uh -huh. Grover Knight coming back, though. Grover Knight, I mean, it's safe to say he's going to stay with Lychee. He's going to go to a Well, he has to. Yeah. There's no way he can switch now. Yeah, he can't. So, I think the switch was good, but Grover still has up to, what is it? Seven more rounds to make an adjustment. Okay. No, five more rounds. Five more rounds to make an adjustment. This is winner's final. Uh, is this winner's final? Oh yeah, it's winner's final. All right, it's winner's final. Good thing. Got to kept pressing the button. Good punish on the. I don't know what what that means. I'm not familiar with Lightchi. I played against her, but I ha I don't I have never played. Her, so. All right. Good conversion in the corner. Oh, I think that was unblockable too. Yo, Carl. So, Carl is good, but how many unblockable setups does this guy have? Well, I think it's like she has a low and good DP to try to stop the Minerva mix-up, but still gets punished for it. Girl hmm. puts himself in the corner. No worry though, he still gets around. Yeah. But um, I think it's just a two because if I'm, I, anybody correct me if I'm wrong. Right. But I know she has the, the really slow, like, I'm going, like, it looks like an overhead. And it okay. revs up really slow. Okay. And I think she, she has, like, the little low sweep thing that, that you sweep just saw there. And with the double overhead into that, I believe those, bo those both are unblockable. Again, scream correct me if I'm wrong. Grover has the corner back. This isn't looking too good for Lord Knight right now. And it's on Grover's match point again. So. Wait a minute, it looked like that reset it. I've reset it as a word. Ooh, oh, baits out the crust trigger. Hits Minerva out of whatever she was doing. Lord Knight's still trying to apply the pressure so he can, so he can like get in, but it's just right. it's just like an all girl right now. Light you in the corner. Baits out the counter assault. I respect the spacing that Lord Knight's given, even though he is acquiring pressure. I mean, oh, he baits yeah. out the counter assault, and now Lord Knight is Ooh. dead. Yeah, yeah. And the burst. He took the meter and then the soul. Mm. So Grover wins. Grover takes it. He's going to be waiting for... Um, so Flux is going to be playing. Is LK going to come back on this? Okay. All right. Okay.